distinguished professors, doctors, students, ladies and gentlemen. Very good morning to all of you and please accept my sincere apologies for not being able to join you at Parul University today. But using uh, modern communication means, I would like to address you briefly. Uh, dear friends, uh, relations between the European Union and India have never been better than now. Since two or three years back, our leaders have designed a forward-looking, long-term vision for our partnerships. They declare our partnership as a natural one, and we, the European Union and India, we are natural partners. Our leaders came into conclusion that there is a growing convergence of views between India and the European Union and we share the same values like democracy, rule of law, market economy, human rights. This is a very good basis for our relationship. But we are working as well how to transform those common and shared values and principles into clear, clearly identified interests. And now we have a platform for our cooperation which covers a very broad scope of sectors for our cooperation. We are very good partners for trade, investment and economic cooperation. The European Union is the largest trading partner for India. Europe is an important provider of FDIs and modern technologies to India. We are good partners for sustainable modernization. At the same time, we have decided to develop our cooperation, consultations and exchanges on foreign policy and security issues, such uh, issues like matters like counterterrorism, cybersecurity, non-proliferation, maritime security are very important on our agenda. And at the same time, we uh, especially under current, current unpredictabilities and uncertainties at the global arena, we are good partners for defending rule-based international order. We are very much in favor of developing multilateralism, which will be good for all of us. And in this context, what is very important is cooperation which covers people's to people's contacts because we as the governments we are responsible for broadening scope of our partnership and cooperation we need to build a strong basis for our future cooperation and in this context I would like to inform you and I'm pleased to inform you that only yesterday the EU member states uh, endorsed uh, an EU strategy for relations with India. In this basic paper uh, we have expressed our full political commitment to develop, develop relations with India uh, in all possible sectors. Our strategy has uh, been well perceived by the Indian government and I'm absolutely convinced that working together we will be able to make our cooperation even more result-oriented and more fruitful in the interest of the people of the European Union and India. As I mentioned earlier, people-to-people people -to -people contacts are extremely important for our uh, partnership as of now and for the future and uh, uh, cooperation between us in the field of education is a pillar of our uh, partnership. And I'm really happy to inform you that a number of Indian students, scholars, researchers going to Europe uh, is steadily increasing. At the same time, uh, interest among European students and European scholars to come to India is also growing. And uh, as of now, we have more than 50,000 students in, uh, in Europe 
uh, and this number uh, is increasing as well. Europe is becoming more and more attractive destination for Indian uh, nationals. And the Indian students are present in all EU member states. We have uh, hundreds of uh, world-class universities which are able to provide uh, education uh, in English or in uh, other uh, popular uh, languages. We are happy of it. And of course there are different channels of going to Europe uh, through scholarships provided by the European Union, by EU member states, by universities or in the framework of bilateral contacts between uh, universities from Europe and from India. But uh, the, we as the European Union, we provide a lot of opportunities uh, to, uh, to encourage more exchanges. And one of them is uh, a very famous and close to our hearts project, which is called Erasmus Plus. Erasmus Plus uh, project uh, has been very popular in Europe since many years, and according to our estimation, almost 10 million European students uh, used to study in another country, at least for some time. And since a few years back, the Erasmus Plus project uh, or scheme is open as well to third countries, including to, uh, to Indian um, nationals. In addition to Erasmus Plus, we have such schemes like Marie Sklodowska Curie for mobility of researchers. Uh, we have Horizon 2020, which is a, a very well established project for developing, uh, developing research and science cooperation and so on and so on. In this context, I'm uh, very happy that one of the most successful projects we put in place a few years ago relates to capacity buildings for higher education. As of now, uh, 97 Indian universities in, why, in one or another way are part of uh, this project. And if we have 97 Indian universities, I can imagine that on the European side we have almost equal number of European universities from almost all EU member states who are partners for Indian universities. And in this context, uh, I'm really happy that your conference, the International Conference on Professional Development of Instructors in Higher Education, and training institutions is implemented under the Erasmus Plus project. I'm absolutely convinced that the results of your uh, deliberations today and tomorrow will bring positive results and they will uh, be used uh, for daily work of many higher education institutions both in Europe and here. And in this context, I'm, uh, I would like to underline that I'm uh, especially happy that the coordinator of this specific project, with the participation of other European Union member states, is Wroclaw uh, University of Science and Technology, one of the most prestigious higher education institutions in my country, uh, Poland. Uh, dear friends, once again, I wish you all the best I hope that the contacts you uh, are establishing through this conference will result in the continuation of good cooperation between Parul University and Wroclaw University and many other institutions which are engaged in this process. I wish you all the best. Thank you very much for your attention.